The USS Ronald Reagan will visit South Korea this month to participate in a round of naval drills between the two allies and to celebrate a key South Korean anniversary. Some experts fear arrival of the U.S. 7th Fleet's nuclear-powered aircraft carrier could rub North Korea the wrong way. For details, we turn to our Kim Hyun bin This is the USS Ronald Reagan, the U.S. Navy's key strategic weapon in the Asia-Pacific region. It is scheduled to set sail for South Korea next week to help the Korean Navy celebrate a 70th anniversary slated for October 23rd. After that, it will stay in the country to participate in a round of naval drills between South Korea and the U.S., scheduled to get underway on the 26th. During the drill, the vessel will conduct anti-submarine and warship operations in the East Sea, in tandem with South Korea's Aegis destroyers and dozens of other vessels. The Ronald Reagan arrived in Japan earlier this month to take over for the USS George Washington, which is undergoing a major overhaul back home. It is the second newest of the 10 carriers in the U.S. Navy's fleet, just behind the USS George Bush. The Reagan is 332 meters long, equivalent to the length of three football fields, and has a crew of over 5,000. It has an operational range of over 1,000 kilometers, making it capable of covering the entire Korean Peninsula. It is also equipped with 30 state-of-the-art fighter jets and helicopters. Experts have said the U.S. carrier's deployment to South Korea comes at a sensitive time and is bound to put pressure on North Korea. Military officials say, however, they will not try to provoke North Korea with the joint drills, as a round of reunions for war-separated families is scheduled to start two days before the carrier's arrival. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.